welcome dear students in the previous lecture i explained you about basics of clipping and i given you idea about what is clipping so clipping is simply identifying the portion of an image whether it is lying within the visible region so for example if it is a viewport okay so whether the object is lying within this boundary or within this rectangular region or it is lying outside the like this rectangular region so whenever the object lies some portion of the object lies within the visible region or some of the object some of the portion of the object lies outside the visible region or the viewport then it has to be discarded any part that is lying outside the viewport or a window that should be discarded and anything that is lying that is visible and that should be viewable to the user it should be accepted okay so the process through which it is be done it it, it will be done is called the uh, clipping okay so i talked about that and i also talked about the applications of the clipping okay and i also explained you about what is point clipping that is one of the method through which any point can be clipped with respect to certain conditions of finding it out the value of x that should lie within the range of x maximum and it should be greater than x minimum okay likewise we have y minimum okay and the y value must lie within the range of y minimum to y maximum okay so this is any point that is lying within this range that will be the acceptance the point will be accepted and it should be made viewable at within the viewport whereas any point that is not following this inequality and it is lying outside that is it is reaching beyond the x maximum somewhere here or if it is reaching beyond y maximum y minimum or it will be x minimum so these points will not be visible on the screen okay so this is simply selecting points so what about the constructed objects that is for example i am taking here the algorithm that is called a line clipping algorithm so what will be the process to clip the line to clip the line with respect to any viewport or a window okay so i am saying what um, differently every time that is window and viewport because the clip, clipping can be i told you about that that clipping can be done in two different ways that is at the time of windowing means when we are showing a, an image at the world coordinates then there also the clipping can be done whereas the clipping can also be done the complete object can be mapped onto the device coordinates and then after the clipping can be done so at two levels the clipping can be performed at the world coordinate level that is the at the window level as well as at the device coordinates or the screen coordinate level that is at the viewport that is why i am referring every time viewport or a window and this viewport or a window will be a rectangular region that will be defined by certain range that is x minimum value and with y minimum value okay and x maximum and y maximum okay across which the line or a point or any object will be clipped so this will be called a clip window i told you about that an object that will be clipped against a window that will be called a clip window okay so let's talk about line clipping algorithm and it was given by sutherland hodgman 
Sutherland, it was given by Sutherland, so not Hodgman, Sutherland. So that is why it is called the Sutherland Hodgman clipping algorithm. Okay, so what it is all about? Let's see. Okay, so <clears throat> what it says, the algorithm explains how the clipping of a line can be done. So here you can see it was given by Cohen Sutherland. So it is called that Cohen Sutherland line clipping algorithm. Okay. So we split the complete region in Cohen Sutherland line clipping algorithm. We split or we distribute or we divide the complete window into nine regions okay so this is a window so this red marked box is will be considered as a window or a viewport and we divide further with an imaginary line we divide the complete window into nine regions okay so we call it as for example region zero okay and region one uh, region 1 let's say region 1 region 2 okay so likewise region 3 region 4 okay region 5 6 7 and 8 okay so starting from 0 so that complete screen is divided into nine regions and each region is provided with a 4 bit code each region is provided with a 4 bit code okay so this will also be a 4 bit code all the regions will be of 4 bit code and how this encoding will be done we can follow any rule we are just dividing so we are considering everything across this boundaries will be considered as a right it will be considered as a left it will be considered as a above or you can call it as a top and this will be considered as a bottom okay let's write one second above top bottom right and this is left okay so we call it as a we will follow the encoding scheme that is will we call it as a abrl or we can call it as a tbrl top bottom right and left or above bottom right and left and how we encode it so it is this complete region is not following it is not left it is not right it is not bottom it is not above so it will all bits are set to zero okay the rest of the um, rest of the regions are how it will be coded okay so when we are moving towards the right so right bit is on okay so we can write over here t b r l okay so right bit is on and when we are moving left okay so here i again i'm writing t b r l TV R L okay so here you can see the L is set okay likewise if I write a code for it that is T B R L okay so it is bottom so this set is one rest of them are zero okay this is above or top T B R L so it is the top part top is set to one so these regions are coded now how we can go for uh, other regions that is if i find, find the intersection of this so it is at the top 
top is set one okay and it is at the right the right is set one b and r l b and r l zero left sorry left is set to one okay likewise if i try to code it the intersection by part of uh, region eight let's say so i write it t b r and l it is on the right hand side so the right bit is set to one and it is at the top top bit is set to one and rest of the bits are zero okay so same goes with this or uh, another method can be that simply perform the xor operation between these two codes xor operation between these two codes so i hope you will be able to understand it. and if you will perform xor operation between these two codes you will get this xor operation between these two codes you will get this and uh, we can follow this rule as well to write the all the codes of the complete screen that is nine region okay so simply it is showing that if we are setting first bit okay first bit as one first bit is set as one this is bit is set as one then we are reaching above and we are reaching above y max okay and if we are setting up second bit that is second bit that is this sorry, second bit sorry this is the second bit we are moving from here this is the second bit okay so if we are setting this second bit that we are setting up or moving towards the bottom we are the y is less than the value of y minimum okay so this is the range that is y minimum if we are ranging from y minimum to y maximum okay and if this set is one if we have the point is here somewhere then means we are setting the bit that is bottom as one okay now the third bit that is the right of the right edge right of the right edge is this and we are moving away from the x maximum so this is x maximum okay and we are moving away from it okay so that is the right bit is set to one it is indicating that we are moving right of the right edge we are moving above of the top edge if the first bit is set one if the second bit is set one we are moving below to the bottom of the edge and if it's third bit is set then the right of the right edge we are moving we are moving x is greater than x max and if it is so if we are uh, setting up fourth bit this fourth bit as one then we are moving left of the left edge this is the left edge okay and we are moving left of the left edge so we are moving beyond x minimum okay so in this manner we have coded the all the nine regions of this screen i hope you are able to understand how the, the these regions are outcoded so every region is provided with an outcode or outcode is of four bit okay and we have followed this above bottom right and left mechanism or we can call it as a tbrl any order can be used okay but we are sticking to this and we are following it okay you can use r b l a or something like that no problem with this so we have to simply provide the outcodes different outcodes to all the regions accordingly the program will take place okay when it when it will be implemented in c or in any other language so moving ahead so this is the now you are able to understand how these regions are coded now moving ahead with it now when we talk about when we have this uh, region so this will be considered as a window or a viewport so this region will be the part of the screen where the image will be shown or displayed okay so anything that is 
available within this screen okay will be shown on the screen that is anything that is going beyond that screen will be clipped and discarded okay so simply first point that is checking for trivial acceptance how we can quickly accept a line or how we can quickly reject a complete line by looking at the outcodes of a line endpoints okay so each endpoint of a line segment is assigned an outcode whenever we will draw a line whenever we will draw a line okay somewhere like this for example if i draw a line like this if i draw a line like this so different lines are drawn so each endpoint of this line each endpoint of this line will be provided with an outcode okay okay so each and every endpoint will be provided or assigned with an outcode now if these four bit outcodes so we can follow one method one method that is simply if we perform the four bit course reels or give you zero the line if line can trivially accept it if we will perform and operation between two end points two end points assigned with an out code and if we perform and operation so that if if it is yielding zero so it should be trivially accepted or we can say if we are performing or operation not the end operation if we perform or operation and it is yielding zero then it will be uh, trivially accepted okay and if we perform and operation between the outcodes of two end points then and it is giving you the non zero result if it is giving you the non zero result then the line will be trivially rejected so here we are trying to say that what are the two cases through which we can quickly accept a line or we can quickly reject a line okay other part can also will also be computed where the some part of the line will lie inside the visible region and some part will lie outside the visible region for example this is the case okay in this case some part is lying inside the visible region and some part is lying outside the visible region okay so in this clipping will take place here i here i am considering the basic two cases quickly acceptance and quickly rejection so that we don't have to clip anything in these two cases we don't have to clip we can quickly say that this is the visible part and it should it should be shown on the screen and this is this complete line is completely rejected and should not be shown okay or should be ignored or discarded so every end point of a line will be provided with an output and if i perform or operation between the two outcodes if one outcode is given with c not and another outcode is given with c and and the line is given with a point p not and p end okay so let's see how it will work if i draw a line from here to here okay so what is the output of it is 1001 okay so let's say this is p not and this is p end okay so this is the p end and what is p not 0 0 and perform the end operation between it if i perform the end operation what will happen 1 and 1 1 0 0, 0 and it will be lead to 0 okay what it will give non zero value 
okay if and operation it results in with the non zero value so the line can be trivially rejected let's draw a line from here to here if this is p not this is p end and this is c not code this is c end let's see okay so perform and operation 0 1 0 0 and 0 1 1 0 okay 0 0 1 0 so this code is non zero okay so this line can be trivially rejected okay and when we perform or operation okay and when both both the outputs and both the outputs are zeros and when we perform or operation between these outputs so that will yield to zero okay so simply it will give that we should trivially accept the line trivial means the complete line is lying within the visible uh, region okay so this is this is the case where we can trivially accept and trivially reject a line okay so let's follow the rule we have an algorithm we will go step by step and we will find out how the this line clipping algorithm works okay let's see what it is saying first thing first we will calculate the positions of both end points of the line okay let's draw once again nine regions okay and let's write out the codes all zeros that we are following top bottom right and left top me first bit bottom is bit set right me left what will be the code for it like this so all the codes are written so first step that calculate the positions of the both endpoints of the line where the position of the line lies in which out code it, the points are aligned so this can be checked out by the x minimum and x maximum values given to you accordingly we can find out in which out code it is aligned okay then perform all operations on both the both these endpoints so any output is given if i perform or operation for example if i perform or operation so it will yield to non zero value so means simply um, to accept it if i perform or operation it must give you the all zeros value so in which case it will give you the all zero value when a line line within the viewport so this is the viewport this is the viewport okay so when a li line will be lying within this region then it will be trivially accepted with the case that when the both outputs when we perform the operation between the both outputs c naught and c end बीच में हम क्या परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं और ऑपरेशन और ये रिजल्ट कर रहा है ऑल फोर जीरोस आउटपुट एंड इट विल बी ट्रिवियली एक्सेप्टेड दैट कंप्लीट लाइन विल बी एक्सेप्टेड एंड इट इज लाइन विद इन द विजिबल रीजन सो देन द लाइन इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी विजिबल ओके एल्स उसके अलावा क्या कर सकते हैं परफॉर्म एंड ऑपरेशन ऑन बोथ एंड पॉइंट्स ओके देन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज परफॉर्म and operation between c0 and 
C end. C not and C end is the output of the end points. P not is a point, and P one P end is a point of a line. Then the output related with P not is C not, and P end is C end. And we perform end operation between them. If it will yield non-zero value. then the line is completely lying outside the visible region so it should be completely discarded okay and else if this end operation yields zero mean it is the case in which the clipping will occur this is the case where the clipping will occur when we perform the and operation between the outcodes and it yields or gives the result as a zero value okay so such in such cases the clipping has to be performed let's see let's see i draw a line from here to here okay so first code is Zero, 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 zero. And second code is endpoints are these, and we consider it as a P not and P in, and zero. One, zero. Okay. Now, when we perform end operation, it will yield to zero. Zero, both should be true. Then only it will be set to one. Zero, zero, zero. So means the result is zero. Means clipping has to take place across the edge. Across this edge, the clipping has to take place. So line is this. Such lines will be considered as a case of the clipping. So line is considered with the clipping case. So we have followed the three-step procedure. first one is it will be assigned with a code okay code will be assigned then we perform the or operation between the out code and if it yields zero means trivially accept the line means clipping is not required third if we perform the and operation and and operation yields non zero value then it means trivially reject means simply reject the line and no clipping is required fourth case that is if we perform and operation and the value gives the result as a zero so in that clipping will take place okay so across that edge the clipping will take place so intersection points has to be calculated across this edge intersection points will be cal calculated so how we will calculate the intersection points let's see okay so this is the viewport okay and we have defined a viewport by x min x max okay and y min and y max okay so this rectangular region is defined by these values so the line can be clipped across any of the edge when we are extending it with the nine region code okay and each region is provided with a code okay so if a line is clipping and the clipping has to take place then for example if a line is drawn from p not to p end 
okay so across this edge the line will be clipped okay so how we are going to calculate this intersection point okay in the same manner when the line will be clipped across this edge how we are going to find the intersection point across this edge line will be clipped across this edge let's say okay so how we are going to find this intersection point when this edge how we are going to find the intersection point so what rule we are going to follow so whenever we will draw, when we draw a line it acquires certain slope okay if a point and slope of a line remains same throughout that you already know okay whatever point you take over here for example if i draw on a line from 0 0 to 10 10 okay mm -hmm. by taking one one point this is one 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 two two three three likewise okay so what will be the slope 10 minus 0 and 10 minus 0 that will lead to 1 if I have taken any one point within this line that is lying on the line for example let's say 5 5 now what will be the slope of this line because it is a part of this line only the se segment of this line then it is 5 0 and 5 0 that will also 5 by 5 1 and that is 1 slope is 1 so line of a slope it remains same throughout the line okay if you find if you take out any point of that segment then if you try to calculate the slope from the start point to the end point then it will yields the it will gives the same slope so what i am trying to make you understand over here is you know the p naught value you know the p and value you can calculate the slope from here okay so let's say p naught is x1 and y1 and p and is x2 y2 so what will be the slope y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 okay now if i want to find out the point of this intersection what i know right now with this point the value of x so what will be varying whenever i'll cut this line across this edge what will be varying that is y only you will not be varying with x okay is it clear so for example let's say this point is x3 and y3 okay so what will be the slope from p naught to p naught to x3 and y3 let's say this is p naught dash let's say this is p naught dash p naught to p naught dash what will be the slope P naught ke points kya hai? X1, Y1. Or P naught dash ke points kya hai? X3 and Y3. Okay, so what will be the slope? In such case, M will be equal to y3 
minus y1 upon x3 minus x1 okay so both these slopes will be equal because the points are lying on the line so we may write it like okay or um, simply i can say that y just multiply it so what we have to calculate over here that is y3 the reason being because we know the x3 that is x is this so on this x y is varying we know the value of x means because the viewport the size and the window size will be given to you and will be known to you basically okay so from here we can write m multiplying it by x3 minus x1 okay plus y1 is equal to y3 okay from here y3 can be calculated because when we are drawing a line y y1 will be known to you from the p0 m slope if this is y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 okay this will be known to you and x3 minus x1 x1 will be known to you and what is x3 x3 will be x min okay and when we are doing this across this edge so we will be having x max so this formula will be changed into y3 here we will calculating y3 okay we will be known with we will be calculating the value of y here okay and what will be static y1 will be given to you slope will be given to you and x3 will be changed into x max minus x1 so it is the general form for the when the bit is set of the right right ki bit ka ka matlab hua ki aapka 1 0 0 0 in this case so okay right way now we are that is 0 0 you for this 0 0 1 0 okay so it is shown here we have the slope y2 minus y1 that is p0 and p end okay when bit 1 is one line intersect with the left boundary first bit is set okay bit 2 is set bit 3 is set and bit 4 is set okay that is 1 0 0 4 bit is set 3 bit is set 0 1 0 0 bit 2 0 0 1 0 0 okay 0 0 0 so this bit is set here this bit is set here this bit is set so we are trying to say okay so if bit 1 is one line intersect with the left boundary what is the code of this area what is the code of this area abrl and it is left one okay if bit 1 is this said p not ka code kya hai agar c not hai और इसका कोड ये है इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि ये इस बाउंड्री के अक्रॉस इंटरसेक्ट हो रहा है तो उसके लिए हमें क्या फॉर्मूला निकालना पड़ेगा वी विल बी कैलकुलेटिंग वाई थ्री प्लीज दिस वाई विल बी कैलकुलेटेड हेयर बिकॉज वाई विल बी वेरिंग अक्रॉस दिस एच एंड एक्स विल रिमेन सेम ओके सो वी हैव वाई थ्री इज इक्वल टू वाई वन प्लस एम इन टू एक्स माइनस एक्स वन सो आई हैव रिटर्न एक्स थ्री ओवर हेयर ओके so to make you understand it in a better way 
and this x3 may vary from x min to x max so yahan pe formula yahan pe x min ka le rahe hain kyunki hum yahan pe h ke cross kar rahe hain aur yahi formula same formula yahan use ho raha hai okay aur yahan pe sirf value kya change ho jayegi is x ki yahan pe x max ho jayega window ya view ko kuch bhi okay so max ho jayega <coughs> clear so from here only we can calculate the value of x3 jab hame ye diya hua tha humne yahan pe likhte hain isko formula y3 is equal to y1 plus m and i have written x3 minus x1 okay so maan lijiye ab hame is h ke across nikalna hai okay तो पी नॉट की वैल्यू क्या होगी x1 y1 इसकी वैल्यू क्या होगी x2 y2 ओके और इस एच के लिए हमने क्या ले लिया मान लीजिए x3 y3 ओके तो बिगर लाइन की स्लोप बिगर लाइन की स्लोप क्या होगी दैट विल बी x2 सॉरी y2 टू माइनस वाई वन अपॉन एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन दैट इज अस्ट्रो ओके नाउ फॉर द स्मॉल लाइन जहां जिस एच के अक्रॉस कर रहे हैं एच हम आइडेंटिफाई कर लेंगे विद द बिट थ्री सेट वन तो आउटकोट के थ्रू हम आइडेंटिफाई कर लेंगे कि किस इंटर किस एच के अक्रॉस इंटरसेक्शन फाइंड आउट हो रहा है ओके तीन एम की वैल्यू और यहाँ पर इस शॉर्ट लाइन के लिए क्या होगा दूसरी एक्स थ्री वाई थ्री के लिए स्लोप equal to x3 y3 minus y1 divided by x3 minus x1 okay now we have to calculate the value of x3 from here because kyunki hame x3 ki value nikalni hai because x is varying every time ki agar hum line kahi bhi catch karenge aur kya same rahega y so it is lying on the y y same rahega aur x vary kar sakta hai agar hamari line is edge ke across mein cut kare kahin par bhi to yahan pe hum kya calculate karne wale hain x3 calculate karne wale hain aur y3 hame given hai because it is y minimum okay because it is cutting down across this edge aur edge kaise pata chal rahi hai hame iske code ke through ki kis code ke approx hum with respect to what code we are in, uh, we are finding the intersection okay so here the what will be the value of x3 let's calculate it x3 will be equal to okay x3 will be equal to x1 plus okay plus y3 minus y1 divided by and from here only. okay no now this y3 is what y3 is y minimum so here we will write y minimum if this would have been cutting down across this edge then this y3 would have changed into y maximum okay so in this manner we are finding out the intersection point across the edges how we compute so we can compute across this edge we can compute across this edge we can compute across this and all four boundaries are covered so we will be using these formulas to compute the intersection points across this across these edges okay so we will see how with the help of an example how the computation will take place so where these formulas will be used okay so okay so
so don't go with this algorithm right now i'm just uh, trying to erase it don't go with it what i have shown you earlier you follow it okay so don't follow this algorithm don't go through it now let's understand certain cases when the clipping will take place i have considered these five cases so five different lines are drawn and it has got different outputs let's extend the outputs and rewrite it to understand it in a better way okay. Okay, so these are five different cases. What will happen? Okay, let's uh, extend this line. Let's. let's hit this line is line. <coughs> Sorry this line this point is lying on the line or maybe extend it further okay so this is lying beyond this line let's say this is the output for this point fine let's take first case that is case a b that is the line a and b okay now perform the line clipping algorithm on this two endpoints are given okay then the output is zero 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 and the output is zero 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 okay so when we perform or operation okay and when we perform or operation between these two on endpoints it will give us zero 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 output okay means that this line is completely lying on the within the visible region so it should be directly accepted okay so simply no no further clipping algorithm will run so simply here only the clipping algorithm will end up okay now let's understand the case with case cd now here the output is zero zero okay and what will be the output of it that is on the right side so zero zero one zero okay now when we perform the end of or operation so it will not yield to zero value okay and when we perform end operation when we perform end operation between these two outputs zero, 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 one, zero. and operation perform so zero, 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 zero. so means some part of the line is lying within the visible region if it would have been a non-zero value so we'll discuss so it means it is simply lying some of some of the part is lying within the visible region now means we have to compute the intersection point okay what will be the method to compute the intersection point here you can see this will be the x max okay and this will be the x min now here the x max will remain same throughout you know the x max but you are not known with the y value okay and you know the value of t you know the value of c with the formula of intersections we can calculate the value of y from here okay with that formula okay so y ki value we call them y is equal to that is y1 plus m into x max minus x1 okay is there's a formula so simply that is i am trying to say where that the intersections intersection point will be calculated okay so this line will become let's clear it down this line will become like this that will be d dash okay and this line will be clipped again to check that this output we will perform the or operation and we can easily see 
the two endpoints are lying within the visible region all zeros and means it line will be trivially accepted with this case okay now considering ef what is ef this ef it is okay so, so two endpoints are given and the endpoints are 0 0 1 0 okay then we'll perform the end operation between these two endpoints what it will yield 0 1 0 0 so it is a non zero value so it is simply the line is lying outside the visible region and it will be trivially reject rejected then after rejection no clipping will take place simple okay so these two cases are very important to understand now see if i extend this line i told you this line let extend this line up to this point that is g okay and i'm drawing the line over here So what is the output of this region that will be above 1 0 0 0 okay what is the output of this region that is left so 0 0 0 1 okay and what is the output of this region that is 1 0 0 1 fine now follow the now apply the clipping algorithm so if I perform the OR operation between these two outputs, so what it will give? Non-zero value. It is now no zero. It should be. It cannot be trivially accepted. If this line cannot be trivially accepted, let let's apply trivially reject condition. If I perform perform AND operation between these two codes, so it will lead to what? Zero. If it would have lead to the non-zero value, then it should have been trivially rejected. So when we perform AND operation between these two outputs, it yields all zeros. Fine. So the clipping will take place. So as you can view on the screen, simply the, these two lines. This line is completely outside the visible region, as you can view on your screen. And this line is some part of the line is lying within the visible region. But when we apply the line clipping algorithm in both the cases, both the cases yields zero. It is GH and it is IJ. See, if I apply output and operation, then it will yield zero. And if I apply and operation between these two outputs because the outputs are same so it also yields zero so in both cases the clipping will take place so this you have this you have to remember okay so this is the shortcoming of the sometimes unnecessary clipping is done in case of line clipping algorithm okay so when we do the clipping of this okay so while clipping when we follow the cyclic order that you have to keep in mind once you have done the clipping of across this edge you will receive i dash okay now the clipping will take place from j to i dash in this manner okay so that is j dash okay so i dash and j dash will be accepted and this will be discarded in in this case you have to move from g to h now the clipping has to be done you will have you have to clip this part across this edge so this part will be rejected and when you apply again re-execute the algorithm so now you can see you are left with the code 100 and you are left with the code 10 1001 here 100 so when we perform and operation between this 1001 and 1000 Okay, when we perform AND operation, what it will use? 
it will be 0, 0, 0, and 1, and it is non zero. So, what does it mean? So, this complete line after one click, after clicking one time across this edge, you can completely discard this line. Okay, so same procedure will be followed one after another. Ek baad ek aap, uh, Operation perform करते हैं पहले आप check करते हैं कि line completely acceptable है या नहीं या फिर आप check करते हैं completely rejectable है या नहीं फिर आप check करते हैं कि whether the line can be clipped or not so so two methods will allow you to accept and reject and another method will allow you to clip okay so one more method that will allow you to identify whether the line can be clipped directly or it should be rejected directly. If a line is drawn somewhere within the boundary region or outside the boundary region, you can check if the output position of the one bit at one location is same throughout in two outputs, then that line can be rejected trivially. What does it mean? For example, If I draw a line here, okay, so at position right and right, this at the same location, the bit is set to one. It can it can be said that this line can be trivially rejected. If I draw a line here, so see one of the location when the two bits are same at one location, then that this line can be trivially rejected. Likewise, if I draw a line from here to here, see, at this location, the bit are same in two outputs in set to one, then it can be trivially rejected. So in this manner also, this is also one of the methods through which we can do the rejection. Okay. So in short, we can say endpoints pairs are checked for trivial acceptance or rejection using output. Endpoint pairs are checked for trivial acceptance or rejection using output. If not trivially accepted or rejected, divide the line segment into two at a clip edge <clears throat> and iteratively clip by test trivial acceptance or trivial rejection and divide into two segments until completely inside or trivial rejection. So you have to apply कि जैसे कि आपने यहां पे अप्लाई किया फॉर एग्जांपल दिस टू आउट कोर्स इज मेड अवेलेबल ओके सो द कंप्लीट लाइन हाउ इट विल बी क्लिप फर्स्ट लेट्स से दिस लाइन विल बी क्लिप्ड अक्रॉस दिस एज वी आर लेफ्ट विद एफ देन द अगेन द कैलकुलेटिंग विल रन वी विल सी द आउट कोड ऑफ दिस देन अक्रॉस दिस एज लाइन विल बी क्लिप्ड ओके देन अगेन वी आर लेफ्ट विद एच सो दिस लाइन विल बी चेकड complete algorithm will run for gh then this point will be we will receive then the algorithm will run for this part and it will be trivially accepted so recursively one after another <coughs> we will iteratively clip by test testing a trivial acceptance and or trivial rejection or divide the line segment into two parts until completely inside or completely outside is done with a line Okay, so this is this was all the process of your line clipping algorithm that we have followed. Okay, let's go through certain advantages and disadvantages of the line clipping algorithm and a few things that you have already understood now. All our checking of output requires only Boolean operation, operations that you have seen that uh, we require simply the Boolean operations by checking the Boolean operations only we can decide whether it is trivially accepted trivially rejected or clipping has to be performed then we have advantage do intersection calculations only when they are needed okay so we do the intersection this is a contradictory point with the advantage because sometimes sometimes in, uh, intersections are calculated when it is not and necessary but still uh, it is advantage can be easily extended to 3D programs and it is easy to 
program because because it can be easily implemented with the help of certain programming language so by reading out the outputs you can decide the line is uh, within the visible region or outside the visible region but we have another algorithm that is called Leon Basky line clipping algorithm and it follows different method of line that is interception of a line that is a parametric equation of a line so it is more efficient than that of the Cohen Sutherland line clipping algorithm and we follow it but in our course it is Cohen Sutherland line clipping algorithm that is why I have covered that okay so these are the few advantages and uh, if I go with the few disadvantages then we have uh, we will do unnecessary clippings that you have encountered I explained you with the case of a line that in which uh, the line is the lines the same line that is lying with the same code lying within the visible region and with the same code that is lying with outside the visible region where the unnecessary clipping is performed not most efficient method it is efficient only when and the com completely the line is lying completely outside and completely inside okay so and because we have to in one go we are not able to find out which part of the line is lying within the visible region or outside the visible region when the clipping is taking place okay so we have to we have to iteratively apply the recursively apply the complete algorithm um, after taking the resultant of the previous uh, line okay so clipping and testing are done in fixed order we have to follow the order okay then it must be done recursively and efficient when most of the lines to be clipped either reject or accepted not so many divisions jabus mein zyada divisions na ho zyada intersections na ho to ye zyada efficient hai ki jahan pe hum directly ye decide kar sake kaun sa part acceptable hai kaun sa part acceptable and nahi hai okay so i hope you are you were able to understand what is line clipping algorithm and what are how we follow it uh, how we clip a line <coughs> across the edges and how we calculate the intersection intersections across the edges so in the next lecture i will cover up one or two examples related to this line clipping algorithm numerically so that you can better understand how we calculate the points how we calculate the intersection points then the clipping cases occurred okay so thank you all